as Chad would drive the Lightning, the positively charged uh, YouTube channel. Talking about the Aptera Solar Charge Electric Vehicle, and just to be clear, I am on a almost abandoned back road, driving very slowly. I'm not doing anything that I feel is dangerous, and my eyes are on the road, not on you. So there we go, that's a disclaimer. So the Aptera Solar Charged EV, we've been following on this channel for a long time. You may have heard that I've invested a small amount. When I say a small amount, I mean $1,000. Uh, other people in my family have also invested a little bit more than that. And we have all pre-ordered, you know, my whole family. So every one of us wants one. We may end up just sharing one or two as a family uh, because it's such a cool car. But I wanted to go back in time and just think about what it is that really makes this car special. Because sometimes we can get caught up in the details for those of you, if you're like me, that have been following the progress for a couple of years now. You know, from hand-built, clunky prototype all the way to... Uh, production intent vehicles that we see being tested now and everything in between supplier arrangements that have changed the changes between the all-wheel drive two-wheel drive for the launch edition the changes between in-wheel motors to one singular motor with drive shafts for front wheel drive uh, we've seen a lot of adjustments and because aptera solar um Aptera Motors shows you these things you know they let us go to the factory and tour it and see these things firsthand they readily share information through their social media channels and talk to us on ours and others, uh, other channels. We know so much and we've seen so many details that we would never see with, let's just take any example, the uh, Honda Ionic 5. When Honda was making that, did you follow it as closely as you're able to follow this startup? Did you know all the details of design and redesign and redesign before it was released? Do you have any idea how many years it took them to get it from concept to the road? Uh, do you know how many times they've changed suppliers? Of course not, we don't know these things with major automakers. And that's a good thing, in my opinion, as an enthusiast and um, an investor, I like to know what's going on. But also it could be a, a bad thing in that when we know that much, we can start to think we know too much. If that, if uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. I'm, and I'm speaking about myself. I mean, this is not me judging anybody else, but we can think we know why they will or won't make it to production. We can think we know that they raised enough money or they haven't raised enough money. And we can get our own ideas about these things. And we could just be wrong. Uh, I certainly could just be wrong. So I wanted to go back to the basics about what makes the Aptera Solar EV special. So the Aptera with the promise of perhaps powering itself through the sun the sun's there, the sun's providing power all day long. Why not harness it? And to harness it, the Aptera had to be very efficient. That's why it's shaped the way it's shaped. That is the, as far as we know as humans today, that's the shape it has to be to be the most efficient vehicle on the planet. That seats two people side by side. It could be a little more efficient if it was a one seater, that's true. But to be able to sit two people side by side, which most travel, on the roads in the U.S. is two people sitting side by side or one person alone. Uh, it has to be shaped like this. Next, it has to be lightweight. So for that reason, it's not being built out of steel and uh, with heavy steel body panels. It's built out of carbon fiber, fiberglass, aluminum frame, the big carbon fiber chassis. These things make it strong as steel or stronger in some cases while being lightweight. It's crucial for the mission of this vehicle. So lightweight and hyper-efficient, and then it has to perform, which means it has to, when you're talking about electric cars and performing, we know it's gonna have good torque. All electric cars have great torque. That's not what we're talking about. We know it has to be quick, because uh, all electric cars are quick, but that's not what we're really talking about. When it comes to performance with an EV, we're all really talking about range. Does it get me where I have to go and back without a lot of extra hassle or a lot more time than it would take to fuel up a gasoline car, an efficient gasoline car? So Aptera, to conquer that, they, with the lightweight and the hyper aerodynamics, they can get 400 miles out of about a 40 kilowatt battery. Now that's unheard of. Uh, that would mean if, if that math held true for my Nissan Leaf, my 2016 Nissan Leaf would get 
uh, about 300 miles on a charge instead of about 100 that it gets now. So will it perform? Absolutely. So now we've got a car that's hyper efficient, lightweight, carries a smaller battery, which also contributes to the lightweight, uh, and can charge itself by the sun. What's not to like about that? I mean, that has to make it for production. But the Aptera is a car you'll be able to camp in. If you're someone who wants to be off the grid, so to speak, even if it's just for vacation, you can sleep in the back of this thing. I've tested it myself. I've laid down in the back of this thing to prove it to me. Uh, you'll be able to take it, you know, for the wife and I, it'll be our airplane. We won't fly anymore because it'd be way too much fun to drive. So the next time we go to California, after we get our Aptera from Michigan, we'll drive. Uh, it's a, it's a, a commuter for people that live in apartments and can't charge. If you don't have a garage to charge in, or like me, I don't have a garage, but I could charge at the side of my house. But if you're in an apartment or you live in a house with street parking only, the Aptera can charge itself. No other car is going to do that for you. Tesla can't do that. Tesla cannot charge itself. Uh, Hyundai cannot charge itself. The Ford Mach-E cannot charge itself. The Hummer EV cannot charge itself. Only the Aptera is the only car that's inching toward production with any promise of meaningful charging from solar. And they can do that because, not to beat a dead horse here, lightweight, hyper-efficient, small battery, you can do that. And so it's an adventure vehicle. It's a perfect commuter vehicle. If you live less than, a, I guess, less than 150 miles from work, it could be a perfect commuter vehicle, almost free to drive. Uh, the three wheels mean less friction on the road, less rolling resistance. Again, hyper efficiency. Uh, we're so close to production at Aptera now, you can almost taste it. The test vehicle is on the road verifying how many miles can we get on solar. You know, we've been saying the models on the computer have been showing about 40 miles in, in California. Is that gonna bear out? We'll know very soon. Will it really get 400 miles on range? We'll know that very soon. The computer thinks so. The proof is on the road happening right now. Uh, then it's gonna be crash testing because although not required by law, the Aptera will have driver's side and passenger side airbags because safety matters. Uh, will it will it hold up to crash testing? What kind of rating can we achieve with front end crash? What happens when you hit it on the side? Uh, people have thought, well, if you get hit on the side, you're in trouble, maybe. But with the shape of this thing too, you maybe also glance off a lot of accidents you couldn't glance off in a square car. I don't know. It, uh, the proof is in the pudding. So here it comes. The Aptera Solar Charge electric vehicle, the vehicle of the future is now going to be the vehicle of right now pretty soon. If you haven't uh, pre-ordered yours, you can do it at, at terra.us. Go ahead and pre-order it. It's like 100 bucks, refundable. If you haven't joined the channel yet, it costs a couple bucks. That couple bucks goes squarely into my right pocket next to my car keys. If you are a member, we appreciate the members because you're the reasons we're able to buy cameras, we're able to travel to car shows, we're able to visit California. We thank you so much, all of you, for what you do for us. I hope I didn't ramble too much. There's a couple cool videos coming up. One's a secret surprise guest from Aptera Motors soon. And another one is a, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, whose name I'm going to withhold until I've got the footage in the can. But that's coming, and we'll talk soon. There's another video here about the Aptera Solar Charge car. This is when they released the Gamma, which is the most complete prototype up until, up until the production of tent vehicles. And uh, we give our little speech here from the interior of it to let you know what we thought of it. And the improvements since then have made it just so much better, even than what you'll see in this video. But that'll be right there. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. It's sunshine in Michigan, but it's very cold. 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it's not very cold by Michigan standards, but it's cold enough. Have a great day. Thank you.